okay in this video we will be talking about the concepts of analytic signal and the complex envelope of a signal okay the video goes like this first we will talk about analytic signal and few examples and next we will discuss about the complex envelope of a signal and also we see few examples there okay so let us start by assuming that x of t and x of g omega form the fourier transform pair and for this signal x of t analytic signal is defined as x of t plus j times x h of t and we have seen that x h of t is nothing but Hilbert transform of the signal x of t and that is given by the convolution of the signal x of t with 1 by pi t so in Fourier domain this is convolution operation is nothing but multiplication and hence the Fourier transform of x h of t would be x of j omega multiplied with minus j signum of omega this x of j omega is the Fourier transform of x of t and minus j signum of omega is the Fourier transform of 1 by pi t by substituting this and uh, after simple algebra we can see that the Fourier transform of analytic signal is nothing but 2 times x of j omega multiplied with u of omega so this tells us that the Fourier transform of xa of t is nothing but only positive frequencies of x of j omega ok so now let us take a few examples so first let us take a very simple example which is x of t equal to delta of t so Fourier transform of this delta of t is nothing but 1 ok yes so for this signal Hilbert transform is given by x h of t equal to delta of t convolved with 1 by pi t and the convolution of any signal with Dirac delta is the same signal and hence Hilbert transform would be equal to 1 by pi t next let us try to evaluate the analytic signal which is given by x of t plus j times x h of t and after substitution we get that is equal to delta of t plus j by pi t so what would happen in frequency domain so that would be equal to just 2 times u of omega so how do we get this look at this equation and you know you see that Hilbert tra the uh, Fourier transform of analytic signal is nothing but twice the Fourier transform of x of t multiplied with u of omega but x of t is delta of t the Fourier whose Fourier transform is 1 and hence this x of j omega is replaced with 1 and hence 2 times u of omega which matches here ok so as a next example let us take x of t to be 1 by pi t itself so evaluation of the Hilbert transform of this signal in time domain is little bit tricky and hence we will take the help of frequency domain in which the convolution operation will become just multiplication operation and hence Hilbert transform of 1 by pi t will have the Fourier transform as minus j signum of omega whole square so this simplifies to minus 1 and taking the inverse Fourier transform we see that Hilbert transform of 1 by pi t is just minus delta of t and hence the analytic signal would be equal to 1 by pi t minus j times delta of t and in uh, frequency domain again that would be equal to minus 2j u of omega and again how is it correct so note that Hilbert Fourier transform of 1 by pi t is minus j signum of omega so just plug in here you see that you will get minus 2j signum of omega into u of omega multiplication of signum of omega with u of omega is same as u of omega when that is multiplied with the scaling factor minus 2j and hence this result and as a third example let us take x of t to be a cos omega c t plus pi and for this signal we see that using Euler's expansion this a cos omega c t plus pi equal to this term and taking the Fourier transform we get a pi times two Dirac delta functions at plus r minus omega with the, the scaling corresponding complex scaling factors because of the presence of the phase of the 
signal and if you look at the analytic signal it captures only the positive frequencies and hence Fourier transform of analytic signal would be equal to 2a times pi e power j phi multiplied with delta of omega minus omega c this is because like only positive frequencies contribute to the analytic signal so if you take the inverse Fourier transform we see that x a of t is nothing but a e power j phi multiplied with e power j omega c t okay so as the next example let us take a amplitude modulated signal with the uh, phase in the carrier term okay and here we assume that omega c which is a carrier frequency which is much larger than the bandwidth of the signal let's assume the message signal m of t has a Fourier transform of this fashion but it can have any shape so just for understanding purpose we have taken the triangular shape so for this signal again in Fourier domain if you see we get the Fourier transform to be 1 by 2 times e power minus j phi m of j omega plus omega c plus e power j phi m of j omega minus omega c so for the the corresponding plot of the Fourier transform would like this so we have two spectra centered at plus r minus omega c and each spectra is scaled the positive spectra is scaled by e power j phi and negative spectra is scaled by e power minus j phi okay so for this signal the Fourier transform of analytic signal would be 2x of j omega u of omega which we have seen already and hence the Fourier the analytic signals Fourier transform will look like this so this whole thing is multiplied with 2 times u of omega and hence only positive frequencies are retained and the we have a scaling factor of 2 and hence this 1 by 2 will become 1 now for this signal we can write mathematically as x a of j omega equal to e power j phi m of j omega minus omega c so and if you take the inverse Fourier transform we see that x a of t is nothing but m of t multiplied with e power j omega c t plus phi as a final example we make m of t to be equal to sine 2 pi b t by pi t in the previous example so that signals Fourier transform would be of this fashion which is a rectangular function from minus 2 pi b to plus 2 pi b so again proceeding in the similar fashion as we have done it previously the Fourier transform of m of t cos omega c t plus phi would be in this fashion and the corresponding spectra will look like this now we have two rectangles centered at plus r minus omega c and positive rectangles scaled by e power j phi and negative rectangle scaled by e power minus j phi and the corresponding analytic signals Fourier transform again would be only the positive part of x of j omega multiplied with 2 and hence the Fourier transform of analytic signal will look in this fashion and we can write x a of j omega in this fashion and if you take the inverse Fourier transform we get x a of t to be sin 2 pi b t into e power j omega c t plus phi now let us move on to the next concept which is complex envelope so for a signal x of t we defined complex envelope as x tilde of t which is nothing but x a of t multiplied with e power minus j omega c t note that x tilde of t which is a complex envelope it is dependent on the analytic signal which we have discussed previously so if you take the Fourier transform the Fourier it the its Fourier transform would be x tilde of j omega by invoking the frequency shifting property we see that this is equal to x a of j omega plus omega c so this is nothing but shifting of the Fourier transform of analytic signal to the left by omega c units so as we have seen the signal x of t if it is bandpass signal centered at plus centered at plus r minus omega c then complex envelope would be a low pass signal centered at origin so we will see this with an example we will take the same example which we have seen previously so let us assume that x of t is m of t cos omega c t where m of t is a band limited signal with a bandwidth of b hertz and uh, 
omega c is the carrier frequency which is assumed to be much larger than 2 pi b so uh, proceeding in a similar fashion we see that we have already seen that the amp complex sorry ampli analytic signal of this signal x of t to be m of t times e power j omega c t plus pi and hence its complex envelope is nothing but x a of t multiplied with t power minus j omega c t which is nothing but m of t times e power j phi so let us do again in Fourier domain so if you look at the Fourier transform of analytic signal you will have a positive triangle centered at omega c with a bandwidth of 2 b hertz and amplitude 1 and it is scaled by a complex value of e power j phi so if you the complex envelope is nothing but shifting of the Fourier transform of analytic signal to the left by omega c so if you shift this triangle to the left by omega c you will get a triangle centered at origin and it is scaled by complex constant e power j phi and clearly it shows that the analytic signal x tilde of t is a low pass signal so as a second example let us take x of t to be sine 2 pi b t by pi t cos omega c t plus pi and uh, the Fourier transform of sine 2 pi b t by pi t will have a rectangle from minus 2 pi b to plus 2 pi b so for this signal analytic signal we got it to be sine 2 pi b t by pi t multiplied with e power j omega c t so clearly x tilde of t gets simplified to sine 2 pi b t by pi t multiplied with e power j phi so this clearly tells us that the complex envelope of a band pass signal is a low pass signal and it is multiplied with a complex constant e power j phi so d we will discuss more about in phase and quadrature phase components of an a uh, signal x of t in the next lecture thank you